and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I thought I would show you a little gardening tour. I'm going to show you a picture, not a picture, a video of my garden. I have a raised bed right behind me, so I'm going to walk you through what I have while I'm growing. And some of my planters on that side. So if you're interested in gardening, stick around and we are going to harvest some zucchini as well. Okay, so this is our um, zucchini bush. If you want to come over here, you can see some squash blossoms and some zucchini so we are actually going to be harvesting those zucchini today and squash blossoms i didn't realize people eat they eat these but they are these plant these flowers right here um someone i know they eat it with like um, ricotta cheese stuffed inside and they fry them which sounds really good but haven't tried that yet so we're going to be harvesting those zucchini in a little bit and if you come around this way i'm going to be showing you my bell pepper plants so I thought these were all going to be red peppers, but they're actually turning out to be green. I don't think they're going to change colors. But I have four, or actually, I, have, I think I have one, two, three, four in there, five, six. I have six um, green peppers, or green pepper plants, seven actually, oh my gosh. We have that one here. We have these peppers growing nicely. So those are all green bell peppers. We have one here. I think a squirrel ate that or something. And then we have this one over here. It looks pretty big. And then these little things over here. Are gonna oh, these will, are are gonna turn into more um, plants or like more more fruit. This is our Queen Victoria tomato. I'm just kidding. It's not a Queen Victoria. It's actually called a a German Queen. So this is our German Queen tomato, and she will be turning red um, in the near future. I actually have some more flowers growing, so I think those are gonna turn into more tomatoes, which is really exciting. And this is our cucumber vine. So we've got some pretty good cucumbers out of this. And, oh, if you see closely here, you'll see a cucumber growing. Beautiful. And there was a tiny one I saw here a few days ago. This is gonna turn into a cucumber. And this, so these two are little baby cucumbers, which is really nice. Okay. Also, these are the, um, they have the same squash blossoms over there. That one, as you can see, ooh, can you see it? It's gonna be a little um, plant. So we're gonna have some more fruit. And in the middle right here, you can see little tiny um, butternut squash that I'm growing. They have popped up right there. So here we have a little, a little strawberry bush. So as you can see all along the sides, we have strawberries that just sprouted. These guys are gonna be turning into strawberries soon. Um, let me see if there's like a nice one here. This one's also growing. And they're just so beautiful. And then over here, we have a little tomato plant. A big one. Kind of got burnt a little bit midsummer. We're actually in a heat wave right now. This is one of our tomato plants. Okay, so if you can see this one, this orange one right here. I mean, this yellow one. I think these just turned yellow. I'm not sure if they changed color. Can you see this one behind it? There you go. So those are delicious and they're so sweet and yummy. That is our sage. It's not for burning sage because we tried burning that one and it really did not smell good. So don't burn that sage. This is our second tomato plant, so these are very plentiful. We're just waiting for them to turn red. I'm so excited. There's a few in the middle that are already turning, you know, a different shade of orange. Ooh. And then that was our chamomile plant, and it smells so good, but these little beetles keep eating all the, you know, the petals and the, and the center, so we don't know what to do with them. But it is what it is. And this is our basil. Um, last last month i think i cut off all the white flowers on them because the white flowers apparently stops them from growing into more basil um so i have to re recut these and you know let them keep growing and this just smells so amazing we're planning on making like a pesto tomato sauce for you know pasta or butternut squash or not butternut squash um spaghetti squash if you don't eat pasta and then lastly we have our little i don't know if this is rosemary or lavender lavender, lavender. Lavender. It smells really good. And that actually is our the last plant I water every morning. That is our sunflower bush. And I hope you enjoyed. Um, let's actually harvest the zucchini. Come on. So we actually have this big guy over here. Oh my goodness, they really grow so quickly. And 
actually planning on making soup with these guys, so. I think the first zucchini we picked was at least a foot and a half long. It was crazy. There we go. Got another one. Let's get this guy. Holy moly. Oh my god. Stay tuned next week when we are going to start composting in this raised bed. So we were planning on doing just more plants here and we still might, but I'm thinking of doing just some composting, <clears throat> composting over the summer and letting the soil, you know, richen up. Also guys, I forgot to show you, we have a little um, pomegranate tree growing. So I think my, my dad planted this a few years ago, but um, basically all the really big pomegranates, not raspberries, pomegranates, we just covered in bags so the squirrels won't eat them. Um, I've seen people do bags, I've seen people do like old CD discs, um, the light just scares the squirrels away and so, little, um, light pack for you. And let me just show you a nice one that we have growing, it's a pretty good one right here, if you can get that for them. So, this one was just kind of like at a weird angle to cover. But they are pretty big, and I think September is the time we have to harvest them, so in one month, which I'm really excited about. And there you have it. That is my garden. Um, but any tips, please leave them down in the comments below. If you have any suggestions on what I should grow for the winter, I would love to hear. Um, and I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and happy, and I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye!